Let's look at the next question. I've got a formula that points at other cells. How do I make sure which cells that formula is really using? Let's look at this formula here that calculates the payment. We look at this cell, and up in the formula bar, you can see the formula, and it says all this garbage about B4 and B5 and B3, and sometimes that can be very difficult to read or interpret which cell is which. Click inside the formula bar and notice that what Excel does here is it colors the, the cell address labels. B4 turned blue, B5 turned green, and B3 turned purple. Notice over here that the years box is green, the rate is blue, and the loan is purple, exactly correlating to the values that are in the formula. By clicking in the, uh, by, by selecting the cell with the formula, and then clicking in the formula bar, you can immediately see which cell is actually being re referred to by the formula. Correcting and fixing your formulas by just looking at the colors and matching them is a very, very powerful and handy tool when you're pointing to a lot of cells and don't want to have to read cell addresses. Let's go to the next question. I've got a formula that points to another cell, and I don't like the cell that it points to. How do I change the formula so that it points to the cell I want? Let's suppose in this little loan calculator that you type a new loan value into a different cell. Let's say that you put uh, $15,000 over in cell D3. Now this really isn't a mistake because you did it right the first time, but let's just, uh, it could have been a mistake or it could be that you changed your mind. Now, one way to do it would be to go into this formula and try to select the cell and change the address and fix which one it points to, but there's a much easier way to do it. Click in the formula bar, which highlights which cell is referring, uh, which part of the formula goes to which cell, and then notice that there's um, uh, the, the border around the cell. You can click that border and actually drag the border to a new cell. Then when you release the mouse pointer and click uh, enter, the formula now points to the new cell as we can confirm by clicking again in the formula bar and seeing that the purple border is around cell D3. Cell addresses are very useful for being able to refer to where a cell is and being able to link to it and find it properly, but they're sometimes a little bit hard to interpret. And the ability to simply drag a border to point a formula at a new cell is very, very powerful. Let's get another question. I just made a change to a worksheet and I don't really like the change that I made. Can I go back to the way that it was before? You can not only go back to the way it was before, you can go back in a very powerful way. Let's just suppose that you've made the change uh, of having the payment formula point now at cell D3 instead of B3, and you want it to go back the way it was before. Up here in the formula bar, there's a button with an arrow pointing off to the left called undo. If you click that button, Excel jumps back to whatever it was before. Now it's pointing again at cell B3. What happens if you don't like what you undid? What if you want to redo what you did before? Now, notice next to the undo button, there's a, a, another button, redo, that points off to the right that will redo the change that you just undid, or undo the undo. Now it switches back to point at cell D3. You can even just flip these back and forth to be able to see the value from one to another. Notice the little drop-down arrow next to the undo button. This shows you um, a list of potentially several different items that you can undo or redo. You can select however many items you want to do or undo, up to a total of about 15. Excel's undo and redo feature is very powerful, and it's new with Excel 97. In the past, you could only undo and redo a single step, and now you can go up to 15. I want to change a formula.